Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel Scorpio. I hope you are well. I hope you are not like me, sick. <laughs> no, it's just the voice. But my spirit is strong, okay? So this reading for today, you've got a star card. You've got the Princess of Pentacles in here. <clears throat> this reading for today, Scorpio, this is a collective. Oh, death and rebirth. Something is exciting. Something, something is coming. Thank you, Scorpio, for your support. Thank you, Scorpio, for being here. <clears throat> Let us see what is the guided message for the Scorpio sign. In today's reading, Scorpio, um, we will pick up love, career, money, and general situationship, okay? Let's see what is coming towards you. What is the guided message for the Scorpio sign, please? How's your eclipse, Scorpio? <clears throat> what can I get for the Scorpio sign? This is for you, Scorpio. Let's look at your focus. Let's look at your situation. We'll do your love reading probably after this game. Okay? What can I get for the Scorpio sign? We'll start with your energy checked in, okay? Energy checked in, focus, situation. And this is what's coming towards you. The Seven of Swords. <clears throat> The Ten of Wands. You're the Death card. Oh my gosh. I was supposed to say this is your card and your card came up. And the Ten of Cups. Okay. You've got the Temperance card and you have the Queen of Cups. And so we start your reading. Well, <clears throat> you're starting the reading with the Hierophant card in here. I could feel your full commitment, Scorpio. The Hierophant card. I could feel that you're very committed to make anything happen, okay? Um, there's a change of vibration in you, okay? You're starting, you know, the shadow work that you're doing, you know, like um, the changes that you're doing, the inner changes that you're doing, it is now going to start to reflect in the outer world, okay? I could feel, with the Hierophant card, Scorpio, I could feel that you're very committed to make anything happen. You're very committed to make it happen. I could feel also, Scorpio, that, um, you know, you're creating something. I could feel, Scorpio, that you're very, you're very committed to create something and also, you would like to maintain your vibrational harmony, uh, high vibe. Like, because uh, the Hierophant card, this is traditional. This is very, this is soul commitment, okay? The Hierophant card, you're soulfully pledging to create something for yourself, for your own universe. You've got the logic, you've got the beauty. Yeah, the Empress card, she is emotional, she's graceful, she's beautiful. There is a part of you, Scorpio, that you are able to shed, okay? You are now the best version of yourself. I would say, Scorpio, the eclipse, uh, it was able to clip the dark side of yours. Like, there is a layer, like, you would notice... You know, one of your friend or someone you know would say, Scorpio, your aura, it has changed, okay? You are now looking like an empress. You've always been an empress, but there's a dark side of you, okay? Like a dark horse inside of you, Scorpio. You managed to eclipse that. The universe, uh, the universe has helped you shed the outer dark layer of you and people around you can see you directly as an empress. You're graceful. You're still alpha, but there's gracefulness inside of you. And it's now reflecting outside your fears, but there's empathy. Your eyes, it really speaks from your soul. Okay? Um, you're, you are an empress that you scare demon. You scare false people. Uh, your Empress vibe, it is dispelling and disconnecting fake people, fake offers, 
or it's protecting protecting you like people wouldn't mess with you because they can see intelligent and beauty like i wouldn't cross you because in you is an empress kind loving graceful but also very logical and very intuitive with the king of swords and the empress card so these are i would say these are the character the vibe that you probably um downloaded during the eclipse and it's helping you commit okay you would notice scorpio that you're very committed to your work routine okay you would notice that you're very committed soulfully pledging committed creating this is like creating with magic and intuition and logical okay so you would notice that you're very very committed to your work routine to your day-to-day -to -day routine to whatever you want to create and you're creating it from your soul and you're creating it with beauty you're very creative scorpio you're creating it from your own fire from your own beauty with the empress card in here like the empress card in here you would notice you don't have to convince a lot of people they will come for you scorpio by now i could feel that a lot of um you know people from the past who mean good like people who you par people from the past who you had a falling out not the extreme crazy fight and then fall out like maybe out of you know out of touch out of sync they will start to come back because they could feel that you are a vital person or soul in their life with the empress card here okay this is a good vibe really really good let's look at the emperor card <laughs> let me just yeah the sun card look at that so this is the time like this is after the eclipse um, it is, you know, there are, you know, I'm sure Scorpio, I'm sure Scorpio have experienced that, you know, when you're creating something, when you are creating your ambition, when you're pursuing your ambition, like you have this by that it's hard, it's difficult, but I want to do it all well, this time around the way you're going to create, whether the pursuit of an ambition uh, pursuit of a project pursuit of a new job whatever you want to create whatever you want to pursue um, whatever you want to co-create with the universe with the hierophant card and the sun card you will create it or you will pursue it in such harmony like it's not difficult to create even though the project is big you won't find it difficult to create or to pursue like it's easy like things things around you they're vibrating in harmony because you are at peace you know this empress card there's so much peace inside of you and there's so much wisdom and logic your wisdom your grace your beauty it's coming into a full force that it's helping you stay committed to your ambition to your project whatever you want to create right now you can stay focused and the way you're staying focused or staying committed it's so easy you know it's a vibe Scorpio where have you ever tried to do something in the past and when you think of it wow this is a lot it's difficult but I can do it you know with this one you probably will never feel like it's difficult because there's so much harmony and peace and synchronicity with your logic and with your intuition and your be beauty that that project is difficult but i can cope. like there's so much um how do i describe it there's so much there's so much harmony that even though it's difficult you wouldn't feel it's difficult because things are easy you know with the sun card you will quickly find the right person the right inspira inspiration whatever whatever your focus or your heart's desire it's easy it's easy to find the tools or uh, it's easy to execute the plan or the step towards what you want whatever you want to co-create because you have peace your peace is giving you your beauty your peace is giving you confidence when I say peace it means that when you start something you're not super duper crazy attached with the outcome right away you know like you're not you know you're you're not you know like you're 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 not ganging up on it you like open in harmony okay so your 
your confidence, your peace, and your beauty, your intuition, and your wisdom is giving you the cool, calm, collected, confident to commit to whatever you want. Okay, like there's something that you would there's something that you would do, there's something that you would create, there's something that you're pledging yourself to be committed with a work routine, with a business, or it could be a day-to-day -day routine, and you're going to execute it flawless and with peace, with grace. Like it's so easy, you know, like it's like I want to lose weight and I want to follow the following instruction. Okay. I want to lose weight and I'm gonna follow the list of this instruction to lose the weight for example and it's so easy for you to follow and be committed you know in the past maybe there was a lot of distraction but with the empress card there's so much i don't know confident and grace and it's just so relaxing the way you do like it's you're you feel so relaxed even though the things that you will do might require a bit of like you're not overthinking like it's so you're in harmony with the way you do things that things might be complicated but the way you do it the way you view it it's easy okay and because of that you're attracting a lot of people and they see you as a strength you're cool calm collected and confident you still appear to be mysterious because this is an empress card you look quiet like you don't talk so much but they know you've got a lot of talent you've got a lot of input to say so you're not just beautiful in the inside, you're also beautiful in the outside. So there's a lot of stars and sparkles around you. You're attracting the right person, the right people. You have the right vibration to do something big or to attract what you want. Okay, you're attracting, you're not pursuing, okay? Like this is something, oh wow, yes, uh, Princess of Pentacles. There's a message for some of you guys you're waiting for a sign whether you want to do it or not there is a message that will indicate that this is something that you have to do this is the path this is the indicator that you have to do it and you will do it confidently and flawlessly Scorpio there's so much confident in you you look mysterious and confident and if I am like a recruiter I will hire you because there's so much wisdom in your eyes they feel your vibration the people around you, Scorpio, feel your vibration. They feel your commitment. They feel your wisdom, Scorpio. Without even speaking too much, they feel your wisdom. They feel your confidence. They feel your commitment. The sun card. It's just vibrating, illuminating, Scorpio. So this is the time that you would you need to be seen. If you're invited, go out. And... Um, yeah, there's an invitation for some of you guys. There is, you know what, this Prince of Pentacles in here, you know, this, I don't know, this is a cow or I don't know, but look at the mouth, it's pink. So someone is about to speak up, like someone is about to speak up the truth about, like someone is about to reach out and speak out about their feelings towards you, their intention about you and what they wanted to offer you or what they want from you. It could be work, it could be friendship, it could also be love. But someone is ready to speak up, okay? So stay graceful in vibration, in harmony, and stay confident. Okay? There's so much confidence in here. Now, what's coming towards is a seven of swords. Um, I would say there is a person who is heavily stalking you, okay? It could be a family member. This could be a family member this could be a lover but it's not connected to friend and <clears throat> um it could be a family lo family lover <laughs> it could be a family member or it could be a lover but this person is thinking of you right now and heavily they're heavily thinking of you and heavily stalking you with a ton of ones in here they're quite immobilized like um they're quite trapped okay there's someone who thinks of you so much recently up until this point um with the death card the ten of cups i would say you're happy you you have moved on and you're happy right now like i could feel scorpio that 
you're happy right now without them with or without them you're happy you have moved on but they haven't because the death card the ten of cups you're happy right now i could feel that there is contentment and happiness uh you do think about them but it does not make you upset i would say with the ten of cups and they could feel they could feel you scorpio they could feel that you probably are not too upset or you're no longer upset with them and it has lifted they could feel that you they can feel you scorpio this person is very intuitive a lover or a family member they could feel that you're less angry or upset or you're no longer upset that's why this person is forming an intuitive stock or they're incognito thinking of you and planning their next move because because they can feel that you're ready to you that they will have a chance if your vibe is a ten of cups then i would have a chance with you scorpio like they could feel scorpio that they might have a chance if you're in a in a death card in a ten of cups in here okay someone felt like they will still have a chance with you okay they can feel you right now they're building up the vibe because this is incognito stalk stalking you ten of wands planning planning they're planning to remove themselves from the stalking and they want to show up scorpio yeah queen of wands look at that um this could be someone younger than you this is a very passionate person this is this is someone you really like you really love but you don't tolerate their bs you don't tolerate their behavior you don't tolerate their inconsistencies um if you look at this queen of wands they still have a lot of fire and interest for you scorpio to you scorpio they have stripped like this person stripped them off with the tiger it means that they strip them off they remove themselves for they remove themselves from their ego okay so this person is going to strip ego remove themselves from um the incognito the stalker alert and ten of wands they would like to plan they, they're planning to reach out with the ten of wands in here the way this person is going to reach out it's like it's now or never with the ten of wands in here yeah okay look this person this person is full of confident that if they reach out they would have a chance they're holding on to the fact that you know what it's been a while um i will reach out it's now or never scorpio okay the i would say the full moon in the full moon in eclipse um the full moon in the full moon in pisces and the eclipse is somehow giving this person the confident and the vibe that it's now or never and they're very confident to reach out because i'm gonna remove my ego and i'm gonna reach out and i know i would have a chance look at that there's an invisible ace of cups look at that so they're very confident that they would get a chance like this person i might be rejected but i will get a chance before i get rejected okay like i will try before like they know that you could reject them but before you reject them they know that you will still give them a chance okay they can feel you scorpio um with yeah this person is full of hope okay this person is full of hope in a sitting in a high vibration that i can give i can get your forgiveness i can i can get you to give me a chance scorpio with the empress card they're vibrational this person is in high vibe i would say they wouldn't come back if they wouldn't be sincere scorpio yeah look at that seven of swords again i'm tired okay i'm tired resisting you scorpio i'm tired resisting me i'm tired resisting you i'm tired um being in, in being incognito i want your queen of cups they want you scorpio queen of cups they miss you they miss your face they miss your laughter okay maybe you laugh a lot you know but they miss your queen of cups you're caring they miss your face this person this lover you know they're very attracted to your face they like the way you laugh they they like the way you and them laugh together so it's kind of sweet you know like this person 
miss you and the sweetness and the laughter and the adventure that you do together. They're tired of resisting you. They're tired of clinging into their ego. They will strip the ego and come back to you. So it's it's a feeling of it's very sweet and a bit dramatic, Scorpio. Will you will feel their vibe, okay? So Scorpio, stay confident, be open with invitation, and also before you say no, before you reject, listen to it, okay? Because I'm really picking up a lot of second chances, okay? A lot of second chances, but with good intention. And also co-create with the universe confidently, okay? Uh, the universe is calling you to, um, yeah, the universe, this is a call, call to action, Scorpio. Um, and what else? That's what I have for you, Scorpio. Um, thank you for your support. If you're vibing, click the bell, click subscribe. And I think I have create, I have uploaded a new video. I'm quite busy right now, catching up with things at home, a little bit sicky, but I'm good. Um, I will recommend you, to, you all, you also watch it, Scorpio in the main channel. Okay. Or I'll put the link down in the description box below. I hope I don't forget it. Okay. You take care, Scorpio. Um, bye-bye.